Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Let me ask you this. Uh, do you ever get tired of typing the same long commands over and over terminal like uh, docker run command or get status or this apt update these commands. Okay, so these are quite a long commands and uh, which we don't want to write every time. We can just do GS, we can just do up or like docker run for d or something like that. Okay. So that is all possible with the help of the aliases. Okay, so I will just show you how you can do it. So there are two ways. So first you can just simply create a like temporary alias. Suppose we have, I, I will do ls command. And then I have ls hyphen ltrh something this. But uh, what I want, I don't want, I want this output, but I don't want to type all this. So I can simply create an alias l equal to ls hyphen ltrh okay and uh, i spelling is wrong here i guess l yes or it was correct okay not found so do we need to give it into a double quotes yeah ltrh yeah if i do l now i will get the same output so instead of typing this big uh, command with this much parameter you can just type l okay so in the similar way i just gave you the one real life example in my project i used to uh, do like start and stop the tomcat services whenever there is a deployment so for that uh, you don't have to go into the path and uh, use it uh, and catalina stop and start so simply i just created a stop c and a start c these two uh, Alice's and uh, everyone uses it to just uh, do the deployment or, or start or stop the Tomcat service. So with the help of aliases, you can also uh, like uh, combine multiple commands using colons. Okay. So for example, suppose I have to create something, uh, some directories. Okay. So that also I can do, or I have to uh, open any file multiple times. Suppose I will create a directory or already I have a one test directory and here I will be creating some file uh, a dot prop okay and this I will write this as a prop file and here you are giving something values like db details some username password okay so for example you want to change this file and always open it and suppose this file is present in a way 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 long means a long path like currently here we will see only three directories but in the work environment it will be very long uh, directory so that also you can do so simply a here pwd is here okay so you can create an alias open equal to vi this path and a dot prop so if you do op it will directly open up that file so this is also one kind of a, a good uh, what do we say mm -hmm. way to open a file or uh, yeah so let's moving forward so this is basically the uh, temporary one temporary ls if i just close this session and open it or if i simply open a new terminal and try to do op it won't work because that is uh, can uh, tied with only this session so to make it permanent you need to do somewhere in vi dot pass rc so you to go shift g go in insert mode by typing i and do control shift v so alias op will open then you can create aliases like l for ls hyphen all to show all the files you can also create aliases like uh, uh, something uh, to read anything suppose any properties file you have to read something like that so these two will try first let me just close this session and open a new session and uh, here i can do op so it will open a file that's nice if i do li it will give me all the files okay so in this way you can use aliases and uh, work with it okay so that's it guys in this video and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching